Hello! Today is episode 4 of Hide and Seek with Wireshark. My name is Andrew Campbell and the, the theme for today's video is going deeper into uh, binary and hex and specifically we're going we're gonna to show a simple technique for converting quickly uh, binary numbers into hexadecimal. Uh, using hexadecimal is a is very efficient way to use Wireshark. You can add these aspects to your filters and get results very very fast. There's a number of ways to get results in Wireshark, but using hexadecimal is is can make you a a power user. Let's say. So what I have here is a a picture, and I'd like to just take quickly look at a particular packet. So the one we're looking at right now is a SYN ACK and so the source is an external IP address and if we follow along this gray line here we're gonna head on over to the destination was an internal machine TCP is the protocol and we can see right away that the TCP flags that were set was a SYN and an ACK and as we know with the three-way handshake we have the SYN, the SYN ACK and then finally followed up with an ACK, okay? Um, but what we want to do here is we want to look, go dive down a little bit deeper into the flags. And so the flags is the part of the packet that tells us what really what's happening when we're communicating with another machine on the network, when we're communicating with a server out there and in the internet. We, we want to evoke a response from that machine. And over here we can see that the flag, how the flags are set. Urgent, acknowledgement, push, reset, sin, and fin. And these are all in binary. And we can see that the, the binary for this, uh, this sin ACK in that packet that we're looking at would be 01001. Zero. Okay. If we look at the hexadecimal frame, so this would be what our machines are are seeing very quickly. We can notice that right away over here we have the number twelve, and zero one zero zero one zero binary converts to twelve in hexadecimal. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a quick way to take a look at binary and how to convert that into hexadecimal. I'm going to, I'm going to show you the technique to do that the opposite way. So I'm going to, you're going to see some hexadecimal, so you'll see the 12, and know right away that you're dealing with a, a sin ACK. All right, we're going to head over to a different picture, and we're going to do some, some brief discussion on this simple technique. First things first. Let's take a quick review of our TCP flags that we have. U, A, P, R, S, F. Urgent, ACK, PUSH, RESET, SYN, FIN. And uh, the binary for these would look, would look like this. Urgent would look like a 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. And ACK would look like a 0, 1. Zero, 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 and then so on. You can see sort of that pattern that's that's progressing. And as we already know that when a certain packet is sent or a packet is received from a server or a different a different host, that we can have an actual combination of a binary to signify that there is more than one flag being set. If we look at the a sin ACK. We would have a zero one zero zero one zero. Okay. Look at the ACK. The, the second digit over is a one. And if we look at the SYN, it is a the second digit over from the right is a one. And that's why we get our zero one zero zero one zero. And that pattern repeats. If we look at a push ACK, if we look at a reset ACK and then a, a question here is what would be a sin fin which is a very weird packet to get 
all right? It's not a not a normal one. But let's look at these these two over here. Right away, we would know that it would be if these are the two flags that are set, it would be zero 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 one one, and that's what a a sin fin is going to look like. A sin fin. One two three four five six. One two three four five six. There you go. That's that is the the flag. That is what that's going to look like. So that's all that's all great. But when when most people look at binary, they they they'll see it and they're like, okay, well, that's <laughs> thanks, but that's not really human readable. And so we get to hex, and some people say, well, hex isn't very human readable either. But it's a it's for computers, it's it's very fast, and as you practice, you are actually going to get to this this point where you'll you'll be able to see hex and know right away that you're dealing with a particular binary. And if you're dealing with a particular binary, for example, you're going to know that oh, all right, boom, it's the sin fin flags that are set. For your benefit here, I've also got the hex base 16 as a as a visual reference. And for those who aren't t totally familiar with hex, uh, it's a base 16, so it means that we go from 0 to 15. And with our with our uh, typical counting, we would go 0 to 9, which would be considered base 10. So here we go. I'm going to take our first packet here, and it's going to be a sin ack. And I'm going to show you a very quick way to convert sin ack into hexadecimal. So let's take uh, what we got here is a hexadecimal byte. And what I've done is I've taken the, the 16, the base 16, and I've split it into two. So I've got eight on this side, and I've got eight on this side. And oftentimes, hexadecimal is going to look like look just like this. Okay. Now, our goal here is that we're going to want to look at and get a result of 12. That's a sin act. Okay. We know what the end, the end result is. Let's take the, the binary for sin act and let's fill it into our, our machine here. And we're going to go from the right to the left. The first four, so zero, one, zero, zero. And then we'll fill out the rest here, which is going to be 0, 1. And now here's, here's the part that makes, makes things easy. You do the, you do the calculations on this, this right side, and then you do the calculations separately on this left side, and you package them together, and you're going to get the hexadecimal. So, we do over here a two, over here is a one. Combine those together, and we've got the the uh, hexadecimal for sin act. Awesome. Let's go ahead and do the same for the push act. Push ACK, we're going to have 1000. And over here, we're going to be having a 1 over here. So it's a 0. Bring the number down, we get an 8. Bring this number down. We get a one. Whoops, a one. <laughs> so the hexadecimal for uh, a push act is eighteen. All 
Awesome. Let's keep doing. We're going to do the reset act and we're going to do the send fin together. Let's count over. One, two, three, four. So we know we've got a zero. And we know that we are going to have a zero, 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 one. Bring it down. Four. One. Hexadecimal for a reset act is 14. Now, our final one is going to be the sin fin. Now, we have the, the flags for that in binary are all on the right. So this one's going to be a little bit different, which is totally fine. We have 0, 0, 1, 1, and these are all going to be zeros. These come down and they get a three. These come down, it's a zero. So this would be the hexadecimal for a sin fin. Okay, as you get accustomed to this process of looking at the flags, you'll 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 start to recognize numbers and you'll know. As you start practicing more and more, you recognize like, oh, a syntax, it's a 12. Oh, a synfin, that's a bizarre one. That's a 3. Um, push act is 18. A reset act is 14. And it, gets, it starts getting rote. But what I'd like to do next is do a quick example. And I want to create a custom packet that's going to have a, a 3 as its hexadecimal. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to open up Wireshark and we're going to send some uh, specifically crafted packets that are going to have SINFIN flags set. And we're going to look in Wireshark and we're going to say, hey, that's what it looks like. So let's get Wireshark going. And I'm going to be listening. And so I've got hping3 here. I'm sending sin, fin, uh, count of 50, and I'm sending them at my gateway here. So that should be just about enough there. I'm going to stop the, stop the listening, and let's take a look here. And right away, we got our, we got our packet from my, my local machine going to the gateway, and you can see that we got the fin and the sin flags set. Let's go look at our, our frame view here. and open up our TCP portion, go down to our fag flags, and let's take a look at this. We got our, our flags set here as 1-1, one, one, and those, are, those reflect our what we thought they would be. And if we click on that, and take a look down over here, in hexadecimal, that is 0, 03. There you go. So, this is a really, as you practice uh, converting binary into hexadecimal, you're going to start recognizing uh, some patterns. And as you continue practicing, you're going to get you're going to get pretty good at it. So, hopefully, this helps. This was episode four of Hide and Seek uh, with Wireshark. Again, my name is Andrew Campbell, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, please like it and subscribe. All right, thanks. Bye.